Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Plants vs. Zombies. In the last episode, we actually took out most of the roof and actually already played the uh, Dash 5 minigame. In this episode, we're facing off against the challenge we are once again not prepared for and do not have the plan to give us the advantage on. And I'm going to admit right now, this is a post-recording because... I failed to do a sound check protocol beforehand and the sound came out really bad. Anyways, the plan you want for this one because of these little uh, basketball shooting guys that you kind of didn't really get a good chance to see is pretty much to have some walnuts on the back end so that way when they do finally come out you're going to see that these basketball guys are always going to shoot for the furthest back plant. Now normally that would be your sunflower. But for once, that's not at all what you want. You want to have something like a walnut back there to absorb the shots while your artillery tries to take out the guy. Um, and since this is a post-recording, it's uh, about 11-17, or November 17th, 2003 when I'm doing this. So well after the whole Google Plus thing. Oh, God's Google Plus. Um... I originally said fuck it, I'm moving over to Twitch, but after seeing I couldn't do any of my fancy little post-editing stuff over on Twitch and could only do live live, I thought, okay, I'm probably stuck here for a little bit longer. And now that I thought about it, it's like, it's not that bad. However, it did royally fuck up something I had intending to be doing. Now, I'm hoping a lot of you are watching this episode today because... I'm actually making public one of the ideas I brought up with somebody who was reviewing my uh, channel with me for a time being, just to see what all I could do to improve on it. And in that session, I actually thought of something that I do, do like, and I will state which games and be more in depth on how it's going to go. But I'm going to be doing something from now on called a viewer's challenge. Originally, this would have worked a whole lot better with. Um, a whole lot better with the old YouTube commenting system because then the thumbs up weren't screwed beyond all belief the comments weren't screwed up beyond all belief you could actually I could actually tell which ones were popular within three seconds rather than having to go digging through all of them and originally I was gonna scrap this idea but it's like wait a minute I'm small time I can read all my comments in five seconds anyways which is really very sad because I do love hearing comments from you guys. So I thought this would be a great way to um, get oh shit die zombie die oh okay. For a moment I thought the the potting plant right there was going to be taken out. But anyways um where was I going? Um oh yeah what I do want to hear is more from you guys and I thought a great way to do it while giving you guys a tiny bit of incentive was just to flat out be like, okay, give me a challenge. What do you think I could do differently? Like, for instance, Plants vs. Zombies here. I'm gonna spoil already, but I've already... I'm already in the bonus game by this point, so there's a little point to starting it for PvZ. But... <clears throat> maybe, for instance, if I were to ever do, like, Paper Mario for me to only use badge points, or to never use an item for a few ups... to never use items for a few episodes or something. Oh shoot, come on, kill him, kill him, oh, okay. Yeah, you can see, this is a very stressful setup right now that I've got going on the video right now. <clears throat> and in fact, you'll notice I even broke one of my rules. You can see a walnut down there over where the sunflower is. You're gonna need the sunflowers though, you're gonna need that sun to build up more artillery, because the faster you take those basketball, ugh, basketball tossing guys out, the better. In fact, I already changed it out, out the walnut there, because I was so sure I was gonna have to deal with them. But I don't think he's in this one. I don't think. I hope he's not. Was he? <clears throat> and anyways, um, but yeah, I'm gonna be doing the viewer challenge for a couple of episodes. For those of you who watch, oh, okay, yeah, there he's. He's there. You can see what he's doing. He's lobbing the basketballs over to us. So yay. But anyways, as I was saying, for those of you who actually watch SLAI and already thinking I'll do it for that, no. I will not because that deviates so much money I get in-game over to whatever the challenge is going to be. And that's going to delay it longer than it already has been. This The series is like 50 plus episodes long, guys, and I'm still not even finished with all that B or A rankers, so no. Sorry. 
Sorry, 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 but no. Besides, I already got a contest for that thing. Okay, we got rid of him. Okay, we finally got rid of him. Um, there's, once more, not too much to talk about in this one, and I'm just trying to now think of other crap to say. Well, I will say that before anybody else goes down to the comments and be like, well, don't support Google+, Plus. it sucks. I agree, it sucks. I'm not ever going to use it. I am, however, going to try and get it so I can change my name up a little bit. Maybe from now on it won't be Demon Werewolf because I'm starting to think that name is also stupid, but we'll see, we'll see. <clears throat> I don't know why, I still got a frog in my throat. I, I get those so freaking frequently lately. But anyways, as you can see, with the roof set up, the main problem with this one you have to worry about is, again, the little lobbers. But as long as you have a setup like mine with a walnuts in the back, you're going to see not even a single de dent in them. And another thing I'm going to mention that you're not going to see, I believe, in this video here, but when they do run out of basketballs to fire at you, they will start uh, acting like the ice... Th they'll start acting like the Zamboni and simply run over your plants, but they will not plant ice, obviously. They'll just start running over it because their ammo is limited and <clears throat> you're going to be hard-pressed to find an instant where you actually run out outside of survival mode. Sorry, also dog sitting still, like I'm not ever. Well, I mean, when am I not? But in any case, you can see we already got the map totally covered. I do recommend Kernel Pulse for this one, just because the Butter Blast might be just what you need whenever you run into the Conehead Zombies. And of course, Choppers are always good for like a final line defense, just in case. So you're gonna see right up there, Conehead is gonna take a few bites, then done. And you're going to need that, because you're going to need to keep your artillery safe for this final part right here. And I really wish I could get some recordings in decently once. Oh shit, I forgot about the bungee zombie. The bungee's jumping zombies. Oh, that's just brilliant and great. But yeah, if you do have extra trouble with the final wave, I do recommend putting down some walnuts, tall nuts, whatever you can get out there, just to try and fortify your defenses and it, that's only again if your setup's like mine with no protection at the end no lawnmowers whatsoever but you might be able to get in a little more than me maybe you actually do go to the mini games before me and actually get them this is just the one zombie left so we already won but if you're running a setup like mine you should see it shouldn't be too hard to get it without it and now we get the plant we could have used this stage and I admit, flat out, I originally thought that this plant was totally and utterly worthless. I kind of didn't know that in order to get it to work, it, or not to get it to work, but it worked just like a cherry bomb does. It has a 3x3x3 three by three by three radius, and why the fuck am I in the almanac? Don't tell me this was the episode I started going over them. Damn it, I can't read right now! Okay, thank goodness, I don't, because... Oh no, but I have to do it in one of my uh, bonuses now, I just remembered, because there is um, an, a special zombie you meet on the roof. There are two very special zombies you meet on the roof that I thought kind of weren't appropriate to do until we got both of them taken care of. And for now, with a setup like this, I never, well you won't be able to go over my thoughts with this, so I gotta kind of piece together, but it's like, for this one, what I recommend is obviously using the umbrella plant, and from the looks of it, choppers as well. And instead of going for a tall nut or anything, because again, mainly tall nuts were used for like pole vaulting zombies, instead just go with a chopper that has a pumpkin around it. Because what you're mainly looking to do is uh, head off two zombies before two types of zombies before they get to you. And I know last episode you saw me doing the whole walnut thing in the back and now I'm doing sunflower. You might be thinking, what the hell is he thinking? All of his sunflowers are going to be killed off. Not necessarily. The umbrella plant, if I plant it out, like for instance, on row four, one away from my furthest potting plant. If I plant it there, it's going to cover all of them in a three by three radius. So that'll actually cover all the first three uh Wait, did I say four? Yeah, all the, all the last three, um, all the last three sunflowers from being attacked. 
and they are invincible when it comes to being attacked by both bungee jumping zombies and the basketball shooting ones. They don't die. They can take infinite amount of hits. However, that doesn't mean they can't be eaten. They can definitely be eaten just as easily as a sunflower can. So don't think that they're invincible, please. By all means, don't. They're a great plant, just not unstoppable. As for the first things you want to get out, obviously I put out the umbrella plants ahead of time. You don't have to do that. That was kind of stupid of me now that I think about it because I should be more worried on artillery, just like you should be, than the uh, umbrella plant until you see one of the two threats come out, or here rather, when it comes to the bungee jumping zombies. And with this one, there's not much of a secret to it, aside from just make sure you get the umbrella plants out and can keep them out. Because if they go, that's going to be your main source of defense gone. And then of course, when it comes to just having something to take out the Tim the Toolman Taylor zombies, what you just need is choppers, I'd say, because the artillery you have right now is not really strong enough and reliable enough, I'd say, to get the job done quick enough. They put up a good effort, but I don't believe uh, the setup I have allows them to take anything out fast enough. And you can see you can't really have a linear pathway with uh, the umbrella plants because they're only going to take up two slots and then the other three are going to have like an extra spot to shoot. So you might be wondering what to put down there. You can decide for that one, I say. Personally, I think I go later on towards extra artillery. Uh, you might want to go for extra sun. I do know I should actually start putting some extra plants down now. Go on. Okay. Colonel pulled for the bottom row. Um, <clears throat> and I am a little disappointed that I didn't do the viewer challenge sooner because this would have been a great thing to have for uh, Plants vs. Zombies, I think. But too little, too late, and damn, that was a wasted butter shot. At least that one wasn't. And how are you guys been doing? I mean, I might have not have a viewer challenge open for this thing now, but I'd st I still like hearing comments from you guys. I'm trying to get back into Let's Playing. In fact, Guardians Crusade and Digimon World 3, I went ahead off screen and leveled up, as you're going to hear me say in those probably. Um, and I just have to actually sit down and do it one of these times. Oh, yeah, uh, another announcement I was supposed to give out while we're waiting for the Umbrella Plant to be put to use is the fact... Oh, wait, what was I going to say? Um, oh, yeah, and also I know the garlic we got uh, last map we should have used. I simply never used it on the roof before, and I didn't want to risk it being a worthless try and just have it be a plant slot that I wasted. So that's why we didn't do that. I will show it off later, though, I swear, just like I will show off Blover. And with huge wave of zombies approaching, this is the time where you want to make sure you at least have your uh, first three rows covered. And you can now see with the upper row, if he ever gets unbuttered, how the umbrella plan actually works. He guards, like I said, three by th three squares, and he is, again, invulnerable. This is the main way, I'd say, in how you'd find that the little basketball guy can actually run out of shots, because otherwise he does way too much damage to your plants, and he'll probably just start going forward while he still has basketballs to use. But in any case, um, I did say I had another update. Um, some news that my that you guys will like, I like, and all that. Um, basically, I switched over to part-time. I'm not liking where I'm at anymore, really. And it's actually taken both a physical and mental strain on me, so I'm part-time now. You guys can probably guess what that means. More time for me to play my own games and also uh, take care of the Let's Plays here. That's why I've actually been doing a bit more frequent videos now. Because let me tell you something, it might not seem frequent, but this... You can already tell if this is post-commentary, and I hate, 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 fucking hate doing post-commentary. But you can already just see, I got a lot of edit work to do. Guardians Crusade had a bit of edit work to do because I got lost so much. Uh, SLAI, huge edit work there. And in fact, I think I might even have a false episode in my, in my records that I have to re-record for now. But in any case... I'm going to have more time as the main point, so I'm going to be able to take care of the videos a little bit more. And I'd like to apologize ahead of time because I'm not going to re -redo, the, redo this after I've gotten this far in the video. And we're this close to ending off an episode, I think. We have, what, two more flags to go through, and we have our setup nearly completed. If anything else, I just need to take care of more pumpkins on them. But you know a pumpkin is just about as slow as a tall nut, so it's going to be a while of a wait. And if you do get it to this point, you should be set in all but two aspects. 
all but two. If you take a look at the two most attacking rows, the ones furthest to the right, yes, they are vulnerable to bungee jumping zombies and you should be ready to replace them at a moment's notice because this setup will not protect your plants from uh, getting chomped out, uh, not chomped out, getting uh, sprung up. The only plant that's actually safe here right now is the pumpkin one in that line, in those two lines, because they will just take out the attacking plant first and then the defending one if two go after it. But two technically never go after it at the same time, so you don't have to worry about that. You just have to worry about being negligent. And shit, where was I again? I kind of lost my train of thought. Um, but yeah, I'm part-time now, so I can do more of the work, and I can hopefully get these out faster with better quality. But that's all I'm going to say on work. I'm not going to say anything bad about it. I'm not going to say anything bad about the company or anything. But in any case, we're on our final wave. Oh, no, second wave. Can I even read the flags on the bottom? And you can see it's more just waiting it out now. Because we already got the setup going. You can keep adding plants like I'm doing. And you can just try and therefore get the level with over faster at the cost of sun. But just make sure, again, you don't dip too low and risk a bungee jumping zombie ruining it. Also be prepared for the final wave when they um, will, again, drop zombies in from out of nowhere. That's part of the reason why I do go with the Colonel Pulse at the very end. Because, well, not at the very end, but just in general. Because then what happens is there's a chance that we'll get off a butter shot. We'll be able to take care of them before they actually eat somebody's artillery or one of our defending shots. Why I put a pumpkin on a dual sunflower i don't even know when i did that i'm paying attention to that very little admittedly but yeah and one thing i'm uh, you can already see bungee zom jumping zombie took our man eater but we replace it right away so there's no real damage done aside from a little sun loss but one thing i'm surprised nobody ever complains about is the fact that we have to have this stupid tree and this electric pole i get uh, this telephone wire line over here because that blocks off so much it just blocks off so much. I'd be able to see them and prepare it a little bit sooner if it didn't block that area. Er. Another thing I want to bring up that I wanted to try and I probably will try and either edit it into this video or another PVZ one is I've always wanted to try and see what would happen if you planted something like a pea shooter on the area where we have all those cab cabbage poults right ahead of the chompers. But... Did I call the man-eaters earlier? Jeez. Um, but anyways, I wanted to see if you planted them there, if they'll actually fire and hit things. Same thing with the chomper row. If it'd do it, if it'd just like shoot the kneecaps and it'd be fine, it'd be good enough. But I never really checked, I never tried, and honestly, I think it'd be a waste to go into a roof level with one of them because they're so far out. And even if you had something like Torchwood, the shots are lobbed over the fire, so there's no point. And is that going to be the end of the... No, that's just going to bring us to the final wave once he's chomped. He's chomped, so... Yep. Huge wave of zombies approaching. And for... Oh, no, for... for well, again, I got to watch the video and see it all. And you can see a bunch of jumping zombie repelled. Uh, for a moment there, I thought, oh, goodness, this is... This isn't that bad, but at the same time, uh, the tool man already made a ladder. And now all the other zombies can obviously... Uh, climb over that and get up right close and personal to our chomper who's busy eating So you can see why I consider that one a threat at times because he can just like make it make what would normally be a good defense a straight-up walk to your uh, Chimney or your brains or your back door or whatever you want to call it But with that we have this in the bag no real troubles I'd say we just need this damn thing to die. He's already smoking. Come on, blow it up. Blow it up. Blow it. There we go. And with that, we get one of the currently useless plants you can get. 
However, it's invaluable in order to level up and get all the other plants you need later on. Oh, gods. Yeah, this is going to be where I end the episode off. And jeez, I feel bad for my past self because there's a plant that helps you out with this guy, but that big guy right there with the little one riding him, he's going to be a world of fun and hurt. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. Goodbye and good night.